guys, Amy back from my day. So I made this for my dad, obviously, for Father's Day. Um, it does, he is partial to the other lavender essential oils bath bomb. Um, so I did this in the lavender essential oils. It has got, in the middle of it, it has got absolutely loads of Epsom salts as well, which is good, um, a good muscle soak. And as I say, it's scented in lavender. Um, so for this recipe, I used a little bit of poly 20 because there's a gold mic painting on and just half a teaspoon, uh, just a teaspoon. And I also used nearly a, just under a tablespoon of SFSA. So I wanted this one to be extra, extra bubbly. It's got two moon, mini moon cake size amethyst embeds in the middle, absolutely massive. I sprayed it with pink and blue. And I don't know whether you can see it properly, but right, so let's see. Oh, it's really pretty and it floats. Look at the watercolour already. Smells really nice. Lavender, a lot of people find it an old fashioned scent, but I really like it actually. It's blue so far, but when the purple embeds start coming out, it'll go more of a lavender colour. So it's a big bath bomb, it's about the size of three average size bath bombs, so it's going to take a while. So I've got a mini moon cake press. Um, so I made two giant embers out of my mini moon cake press. And inside the amethyst mini moon cakes, I put a pink ember. You can see the water's going more of a purple colour now. I could do a rainbow one of these and have loads of different colours, but obviously because it's scented in lavender and it's for my dad, I just wanted purple.
This would look good with multicolored embers. It looks like a badge, like Dad Award. Should we sink it? Ready? Let it go. So we'll check this end, the watercolour. Lovely. And it's nearly gone. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.